If you've ever been given the laborious task of creating a business report, an annual report for a division or for a company, you know how time consuming it can be. You know how many different sections you have to do, the amount of information, the amount of content you need to do for those. But using AI can really slash the time that it takes. So in this section, in this video, we're going to look at how you can use AI to quickly and effectively and compliantly create very effective business plan outlines and even start filling in those business plans, creating those business reports quickly and easily. So keep watching for more information. If you run a small business or if you run a business unit that's part of a larger organization, it's often going to be your role, your responsibility to grow and develop that business. And in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can use AI tools to almost act as a business partner, to help guide you, to advise you on how you can grow your business, on how you can draft reports for your business, if you're applying for a bank loan to grow the business, or you are commenting on the industry and the environment and your plans for going forward. And you can do this quite simply, quite easily using GPT without needing to uh, go and hire consultants or to do hours and hours and hours of your own research, etc. So a very, very useful tool for you. So you can see on the screen there, I've started by just giving a bit of an explanation as to what my business is. Now, of course, this is just a sample. If you were doing this for yourself, you'd write a bit more information about exactly what your organization is. You might even provide a link to your website so it can read through your website, etc. But I've just said that I'm running a small accounting firm, primarily serving individuals and small businesses. We've got 10 employees in various different roles primarily working at tax preparation, bookkeeping. We use software like QuickBooks Zero. We rely on or we operate within frameworks, as I'm sure you all do, such as adhering to relevant tax laws and accounting standards and best practices. And I'm looking for a prompt that's going to create an outline of a company report for me. Let's say I'm re reporting on my organization. I'm uh, submitting this to uh, a, a bank manager or to someone else that's involved with my organization. And I want a really, really professional report that covers all the different topics that you would expect in that report. And we could just say, write a report for me, but we want GPT to give us the prompt so that it provides the perfect response because with GPT, it's all about prompting it correctly and no one knows it better than itself. So if you ask, if you give it some information about your company, if you then say, I want a perfect prompt that's going to produce a detailed company report outline for this specific company, the best thing to do is ask GPT itself to write that prompt. So we'll get it to do that now. And you can see it, it's confirmed that it's going to create a detailed outline for a company report for this particular firm, including sections on growing the business. So you can see it's given us a very, very detailed breakdown there. It's used information about the organization. It's then provided an outline of the company report as well. And it's specifically said, ensured that it's structured professionally, subsections are used for clarity and so on. So what we can now do is we can highlight this and copy it. And now we simply post it back into the chat because we've now created our prompt. We're going to prompt it. So it's providing us our company outline now, starting with the executive summary, business overview, organizational structure, the business model, the services that we provide, and you can already see just how detailed this is. What we can then do is we can use GPT itself or use our own approach, our own analysis to then essentially turn these bullet points into paragraphs. And just how quickly and easily it's able to do that. 
And if you can imagine, if we put in a bit of information about our trends, if we put some information about our clients in here, we uh, talk about what we've done so far with regards to software integration, we've created a really outstanding report. And this is something that then can be shared with stakeholders. It can be shared with uh, the directors of the, the parent organization. If we're part of a group of companies, if we're a small business owner looking for a bank loan, we can take all of this information to the bank manager. Very, very comprehensive in its report. And what we can then do as well is we can add to this. For example, it's even asking us to draft a full report. So we can say to it, right, I want a particular section here. Let's say the risk mitigation or risk assessment and mitigation. And we might copy this in. We might say, please expand on the following section outlining issues for my business. And what it might then do is it then goes up and talks all about us as a small company, it looks at what was important to us. We mentioned our original prompt in terms of building uh, long term clients, etc. And it, what is now done is it's gone on to list what might be common issues for an organization in our position. It's also provided us with risk mitigation strategies. And we could go even further then and we can start asking it about how we would implement these. So let's say that we wanted to implement a uh, you know, regulatory monitoring or compliance audits, etc. So we might highlight these two and uh, then go back into it and say, how would I implement the following? And it's starting to give us information about how we would go about conducting those audits, how we would go about monitoring uh, that the regulatory requirements. Now, I know that's somewhat not what we would necessarily put in our business report, but it's it's showing you how we can very quickly, very easily get from a position where we're just a small accounting firm asking GPT to help us with a report to getting right into the detail of how we would implement regulatory and compliance audits. So this should already show you just how effectively GPT can help us create these financial reports, how it can create these annual reports for us, and how we can use this information, build on this information to create really effective reports for our company. So we'll just go back down now and see what it's been doing. You can see it's given us a huge list of information. It's even given us recommendations of software that might be used to help in compliance. So a lot of really great information there that we can use to help build our company reports that we can use to help grow our business, to make changes within our business all very effectively. We've even asked for how to actually implement it as well. So things that you usually would have had to have done a lot of your own research or you would need to have known it in the first place or you would need to have hired a consultant to go through it with you. You can now use GPT as your own personal consultant to help you with your business.